watching Tim's Tiny Arcade, mother effer. Tim from Tim's Tiny Arcade. Today I want to talk about the Atari 7800. I never owned the Atari 7800 when I was younger. I had the 2600 and had a ton of games for it. Um, I went right into the NES, was my next system, and uh, really never had any de you know, desire to play the Atari 7800, but uh, here maybe a year ago, I ended up picking up one, got a boxed uh, complete, so I will show you the box. Uh, in my system and I've got a handful of games. We'll show a few uh, games and some gameplay of them. So here's the box to the Atari 7800 that I bought. Right there on the box says arcade quality graphics, color and sound, play 7800 games, exclusive super games. Right here is pretty cool. It's got a KB toy sticker, originally 89 but now 79. And then on the back of the box is showing some of the games that are uh, out on the system. Xevious, Jowls, Choplifter, Ms. Pac-Man, one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Then on the side of the box, we have we got a picture here that says plays all 2600 games. This system was the first system to be backwards compatible. So that was a big selling point for this system also. Here's the Atari 7800 controller. It had two buttons on it. Also had nine pins. You could also use your Atari 2600 controller also. And here's the Atari 7800 system. It's really a more updated looking system than the Atari 2600. Beautiful black and silver. Um, this one's in great shape. And then here's my Atari 7800 collection. I have a small collection right now because they're kind of harder to find. As you can see, all the most of the labels are uh, like silver. Um, not as colorful as, say, uh, like these Atari 2600 cartridges. But being backwards compatible, I can play all my 2600 uh, and Activision games on this system also, which is a pretty cool feature. All right, so the first game I'm going to play is Ms. Pac-Man. This is one of the best uh, arcade games, I think, of all time. And the 7800 uh, version is uh, pretty faithful to the arcade. Um, only a couple differences. I think Miss Pac-Man and this one uh, moves a lot quicker than uh, the arcade. It's more like fast Miss Pac-Man, which is okay with me because I love playing fast Miss Pac-Man uh, when you find that one in the arcade. This one has the cut screens, um, just like the arcade, the fruits. Um, the bonus items, um, the mazes are very colorful and they also have the intermissions in this game. So, I mean, the Atari 2600 had a good version of this game also, but this one's uh, even more true to the arcade than the uh, Atari 2600 version. All right, so the second game we're gonna look at today is Galaga, uh, 1984. This game, uh, like I said, uh, it was in 84, but it sat dormant until it was released in 87. That's part of the problem with the, the Atari 7800. Um, following the Atari 5200, it kind of set, and then by the time this game came out, people were uh, playing a lot of NES and had already played a lot of the arcade games. But uh, Galaga, this was the first time uh, Atari had brought Galaga to one of their systems. Uh, the 2600 didn't have it, and then uh, 5200 didn't have it. So this was the first time that uh, Atari had Galaga. And it's a pretty good uh, representation of the arcade. Um, plays a little bit different. The sounds are just a little bit off compared to the arcade. But, I mean, I think it's a pretty good version of the game. It's pretty challenging. I think the ships handle, uh, attack you a little bit different than the arcade at times. But overall, I mean, it has the, the bonus stages, the challenge stages, and very good uh, representation of the arcade overall. A lot of fun playing this game because uh, Galg is like one of my favorite uh, games of all time anyway. So to have this uh, on the 7800 uh, was a must game that I had to get for my collection. All right, so the third game we're going to look at today is Centipede on the 7800. Now, uh, Atari made a 2600 version, and it was uh, graphically not the best, but gameplay on that was great. 5200 had a version of Centipede, which I've never played. And also you had a option back then of having a trackball. I've heard good things about it, but never have played it. But uh, this version here of the 7800 looks pretty good. It doesn't seem like there's any slowdown in it. It plays pretty pretty good. It has good sound. And like I said, the controls are good. This is a pretty good uh, version of uh, Centipede uh, for, the, for this system. Like I said, this system was built uh, for a lot of uh, arcade games. They made Joust, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, 
The Centipede was another one. It was a great game on this system, and uh, it's just too bad this system, uh, you know, they brought it out too late, I think, and that's what really hurt it. Uh, people were ready to play different kind of games at the time and kind of moved away from some of the arcade games, but me being a retro gamer, I'm super excited to have this system and be able to play some of these games that I didn't get to play back in the day. Okay, now here's the Asteroids on the 7800. Um, I always enjoyed playing the, the Atari 2600 Asteroids. Only kind of knock I had on that game was the way the Asteroids would more go just more up and down and slowly move, move to the middle. Now you could put it on, uh, change the difficulties and get them going more diagonal. Um, but this one looks a lot more like the arcade. It doesn't have the vector graphics, obviously, but uh, the motion of the asteroids and the sounds are way more uh, accurate to the arcade. Obviously, this is a more powerful system, and this is a pretty good uh, version of uh, asteroids. Okay, so the last game I'm going to show you guys today is a game called Crossbow. This game was on the uh, 26, Atari 2600, and here's another version of it uh, for the Atari 7800. The uh, object of this game is to take the is to protect the people walking across the screen. Which at the beginning, I I'll be honest with you, I had not played this game, so I actually shoot my person once. But anyway, um, you have to shoot the birds or animals or obstacles that are trying to uh, hit the person that's walking across the screen. This is a uh, point-based game, so it was actually pretty fun uh, using the uh, Atari 7800 controller on this game. Uh, a little stiff, uh, that controller is. Uh, next time I might try it with the Atari 2600 controller, because like at the beginning of the video I said you can use either controller. Pretty fun game. It's got different levels that you play and stuff like that. So, anyway, guys, I just kind of wanted to show you guys, because I've really never talked about my Atari 7800. What did you guys think of this video? Uh, did you like it? Give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment uh, for me. It would be awesome. I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, on Tim's Tiny Arcade. I just started that page up uh, not too long ago, and it's growing pretty fast. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to everybody later.